Hello, and welcome to Tapestry 2020. Wow, isn't this weird? We haven't done it virtually before, but I'm so excited to be involved. Um, I am Leslie Hill. I am the previous owner of Hill Image and Rid Me. And um, both of those focus on how to dress to make us feel confident. I think the biggest thing women want to know, no matter what age we are, is what's going to what can we wear that'll make us feel good about ourselves? I hate that feeling when I get dressed and I'm going to meet a group of people, whether it's people my age, older, younger, um, whether it's work-related or casual. Either way, I hate wondering what the other people are going to be wearing and how I'm going to measure up compared to them. So today we're going to tackle the age old problem of wondering what to wear for our body shape. And the reason that this is so hard, I want to make sure that you know that if you struggle with this, wondering what shapes are best for your body type, it is not your fault. It is not your fault. I was a designer for 15 plus years and I traveled the world looking at different fabric manufacturers and retailers and all of the like. And no matter what, this is something that women and men struggle with no matter what age we are and what situation or occasion we're going to. The reason is because we as designers, we don't design for you. We see the trends, we want to do what we think is gonna sell. We want you to buy the things. We don't care if you wear the things. So today let's walk through what's best to wear for each body type. And to do this, I'm going to give you some basic tips and tricks for different body shapes. And then we're gonna walk through what it's like to go shopping for us. So the first thing, have you ever, and I might be sharing my um, screen with you from time and again. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing. Um, so let's right off the bat, start thinking about body shapes. So body shapes are that thing where we're like, okay, I, I don't even know what a rectangle is versus an apple and, and how do I know if I'm an apple versus an hourglass and I don't, I don't know what shape I am. How do I even know where to go to look for what I should be wearing? So again, this is not your fault and everyone you know is in the same boat. You know, I don't care how many times they exercise we can't figure out what our body shape is. So I'm going to give you some tips on this. If you're wondering what a rectangle is, you can see here that it's going to measure from the outside of your shoulders down to your hips, okay? You can see here on the pear shape that the bust line is, um, is small in a sense that it's going to be smaller than your hips. An inverted triangle, this is what I, this is what I am. I, I cross between this and a rectangle. And um, this is where the, the shoulders are actually gonna be wider than the hips here. And the hourglass is where you have this small waist and it's about 25% difference than your hips and your, your hips and your shoulders. And then you have the apple, and that's gonna be again about a 25% difference between your hips and your shoulders. It's just in the opposite direction. So we don't like to categorize ourselves if it's not what we want the category to be. So if someone were to ask us, what shape we are, we're very hesitant to tell them that we are an apple or we're a rectangle because we know somewhere since the beginning of time, we know that women are supposed to be hourglasses. So we don't want to acknowledge that we are an apple or a rectangle. No matter how much we giggle about it, um, we don't want to be that. And the other tricky thing is if we're not an hourglass, how do we dress ourselves? Like say we're that inverted triangle. How do I know how to dress myself so I don't look like a man? 
And this is where you can go all over the internet to find these things. Um, here are some good tips for you, and I will have this information as a downloadable sheet if you go to howtowearitworkbook.com. Again, that's howtowearitworkbook.com. I just put a downloadable sheet on there, that way you know <laughs> what to wear for your body shape. So if we start with the rectangle, as shown here, the rectangle has a waist that's less than 25% smaller than your shoulder and your or your bust area. Um, so we actually have to take measurements. So our body shapes have nothing to do with our weight. And I want you to repeat that with me. Our body measurements have nothing to do with our weight. We could be overweight, underweight, spot on weight, and our shape is going to be just about the same as what it would be if we were our ideal weight, okay? We can't change it too much. If I am an inverted triangle, there's nothing I can do to make myself an hourglass. My hips are not there. Now my thighs might gain a little weight and be a little thicker, but my hip measurement is never going to equal that of what an hourglass should be. So again, for a rectangle, your waist is going to be less than 25% smaller than your shoulder or bust. Okay. Now, if we go over here to this um, triangle or pair, what you see here is that your hips are going to be more than 5% bigger than your shoulders or bust. Okay. So it doesn't have to be a drastic difference. And that's, I think, what we look for when we're trying to figure out what our body shape is. It would be a heck of a lot easier to figure out what we were if it was completely obvious. But if we think of a pair or a triangle, this would be when our hips are going to be more than 5% bigger than our bust or our shoulders. For an inverted triangle, again, where are my men at? Um, this is when our shoulders are more than 5% um, higher than our hip measurement, okay? Skinny little hips, wide shoulders or bust. And then you have the hourglass, and the hourglass is um, a fun little tip or trick. That a lot of people say, well, I think I can contour, and you can be contour at any one of these shapes, okay? You can have a little bit of waist shape on most of these, but the hourglass is going to be more extreme. So the hourglass says your waist is 25% smaller than your shoulders, and your hips and shoulder is about within 5% of each other, okay? So basically your hips and your shoulders are gonna be about the same measurement, and your waist is gonna be 25% smaller. That is an easy way to determine what you are. Now we get into what, what exactly are you talking about, Leslie? Well, let's look at an apple-shaped body. This is what I'm going to give as an example through this whole thing. So an apple-shaped body. So we are going to measure from the outside of our shoulders. So this woman here measures 46 inches. We're gonna measure our bust, and that's gonna go directly across your apex, so right at that nipple. You wanna get it fully in line from your back to your front, and it's gonna go right through that nipple area. You can have your bra on, that's fine. Just make sure that's where the measurement measuring tape goes. So right through the middle. And then you have your waist. And if, you, if you're chuckling and you're saying, I don't have a waist, we all do. Uh, we joke about not having one, and I will be the first one to joke about that. Um, but we all have some sort of an of an where our waist would be located. It's where we hinge at the hip, or if you bend over to the side, that that area right there, where your hips and your ribs kind of come together, that's your waist. So you want to measure there, and then you want to measure your hips. So the hips are going to be right about where your underwear line is. And so here she's measuring 49 inches. So we can tell by this shape, by a little protruding belly, 
and um, the bust and the hips being about the same width. This is how we know that we have an apple shaped body. Okay. And there are fantastic ways of dressing ourselves at every single shape. And if you're thinking to yourself, I'm such and such shape and I never look fantastic and never feel fantastic. Hopefully with my help, you will figure out what looks good on you and what can help you feel fantastic because you are able to achieve that. Um, you just might need a little bit of direction. Okay, so now we've figured out what our shape is. Now we're gonna figure out what, how to dress our shape. What I suggest is, as you can tell, I just started poking around, okay? I'm gonna look for a very um, uh, well-recommended company or site to look off this information from. There's a lot of fashion information out there and a lot of influencers who think they know what they're doing and they don't. What I want you to do is go to someone like the Trump Club, someone like Macy's, someone with this bigger name who really wants to help you um, figure out what's gonna make you look great because they want you coming back and buying stuff from them, right? So I went ahead and clicked in here and this takes me to here. You can tell because here she is. So your shoulders, bust, waist, and hips are fairly uniform, but your shoulders and hips might be slightly narrower because you might have a protruding belly here. Your waistline is undefined typically, and you could, but you don't have to, have a larger bust. So give me some tips for this, right? So we want to balance out our top portion with our legs. Um, my family is very prone to this body shape and I like to call us popsicle sticks. So I have to make sure that someone with my body shape doesn't end up looking so wide on top and have itty bitty little legs. So we wanna draw the eye down and we can do this with color and pattern. So they're saying you can try this wrap shirt. Now here's why they're saying this. Number one, the sleeves are gonna come down to just about where your elbows are. So again, your eyes are drawn down. Um, this crossover body, this is severing your body in different proportions, different pieces, and so that's gonna break up your body. The fact that the tie over here not only hangs down, but is also on the side, it's not right in the middle. So we have, we're creating portions out of your body. We're saying here's one, two, and three. Um, here with this top, you may say, I don't have a waist, so I don't wanna wear an elastic waistband. Um, for, it may be that your body won't work with that. However, most will. An elastic waist will produce, it'll pre produce the illusion that there is a, um, that there is a waistline. So what happens with that is there is like a little peplum created, especially if we have a little pooch at the bottom and that pushes that out, which is fantastic because we want to give ourselves a little bit of shape that um, we kind of don't have. We want to visually give us that. Here, we're having the long um, ties come down. Again, you are breaking your body into portions and that's what we want to do. We don't just want one big billboard. We want multiple pictures within that billboard. And here we are widening here and shrinking here. So it goes back again to that elastic waist where a little peplum is gonna push out. Okay, um, I'm not gonna get into all of this, but you can go look up Nordstrom at Trunk Club. They really do know what they're talking about. So we're gonna get into all of these fun things, right? So we go look for a reputable brand and we can follow them. But then what? What if I keep seeing these bodies that are perfect and um, 
say I've been following Land's End. They've given me a really good idea of what I want. So now I'm looking and I'm like, oh, that is so cute. But I still don't know if I should wear that. What do I do now? So again, think back to how we are breaking your body up into proportions. Can you give yourself a waist? You can by having this tie here. It would be ideal as if it was, you know, here you have the buttons down. So you kind of have to leave the tie in the front. If this didn't have buttons right down the front, I would put it over here to the side. Um, and yet we can't see her. She looks fairly normal shaped body. Like I don't feel horrible for being my 165 pounds, um, but I can, I still don't see myself exactly how that is. And that's that same thing here. So I'm, I'm shopping again. I love this paper bag uh, jogger, but how do I know what it's really gonna look like? What if this is what is in the magazines and what I'm seeing everywhere. But then what happens is I end up doing this. And when I say this, I mean, I don't wanna wear a heel because my feet hurt. And I, I'm not so long and lean that I can wear a bodysuit underneath my paper bag pant, right? So this is gonna be more like me. So what I love about here is that even though she has a gym shoe, it's more of a stylish gym shoe. This isn't something that you're gonna go running in. This isn't something where you are gonna go um, walk the mall fastly or you're gonna go on your 5K run. This is something that is specific to fashion and so it's pulling your whole outfit together. All right, you still with me? So we're still on how are we shopping for our body shape? I'm gonna show you a trick. One of my favorite places to go for fashion, um, it's not gonna be Facebook, it's, I can find some things on Pinterest, but usually it's going to be on Instagram. And here's why. I can come in here and I can look for fashion underneath a hashtag. So if we're going under rectangle body, I'm going to be able to scroll through and kind of see what some other real people, real bodies are wearing. They may not get it right every time, but at least I can see what things look like on real bodies. So for instance, this one. So I can see how she is a rectangle. So what she's done is she has um, shrunk her shoulder line by wearing the off um, sleeveless top. And she's brought your eye down, but she's created a waistline for herself just by tucking in the front of her top, okay? And she also brings your eye down by wearing this um, throw. Uh, we can do this several ways. So here's again. So we see something, we wanna emulate it. Say it's our lovely Tracy Burke. Um, how do we take what she's wearing and implement it on us? Exactly the same. We just need to find what works for us. So we're going to find a little bit wider leg. So she actually, I know her well enough. I've followed her enough to know that she can be um, a pear shape or a triangle. So for this rectangle body or this oval body, we're gonna bring your eye down by cuffing the pant, but we're not gonna have something chunky down here. It's gonna be nude. So our eyes don't go and stop on this clunky bit. And this is how you can wear denim together. You don't necessarily need a belt here. Um, she's wearing it without one and it looks super classy. So if we get off of this concept, what if I just want to know what real women are wearing. Uh, so let's put in fashion for real women. Okay. So now we are, anyone on Instagram can use this hashtag. So let's scroll down and see, like she looks like a real woman. She looks like a real woman. You can tell this is a real woman. 
um, down here, I found this gal. So I like how she shows a look from the magazine on someone who's never going to look like we do, how it can look on a real body. So I go ahead and I can follow her. I'm going to kind of stalk her page. What else does she have on here? Okay, in here we can see for her body shape, which is a little bit of a contour, but she is going to be mostly a rectangle. What she has is some, a pattern up by her face and pattern down here. You can tell there's not a lot in the middle, so we don't have to look there. We know exactly where to look on her and she has a red shoe at the bottom, so your eye again is drawn down. Let's see what else we got. Um, this has been kind of a big thing lately, especially if you shop at like Betsy's Boutique or anything like that. Uh, a lot of stripes with florals in now what's considered a very kind of typical look, like a sheath dress. And you're going to be able to see how low the scoop is coming down, how tight the sleeves are on you, and kind of what shoes she might pair with them. So if you can find someone that shares your body shape out there, you want to go and keep looking at what they're trying on because it might work for you. Um, a good example of this is Queen Latifah. All right, so let's see. Queen Latifah, okay. And you might be cracking up because you might remember her from like the 90s but I am obsessed with her fashion. I love her fashion. She always nails it every single time. And I also know that she is a, an apple type figure. And that is what I tend to go to if I have weight on me. So what is she wearing that I think I could wear? So let's see here, you saw the dress above. Um, what is she wearing here? So this is a way for she's elongating her top. Her waist is probably right here, but she's gonna elongate that because she has those thinner, longer legs. So it, she can't look like she is all upper body. Um, here, this is a fantastic example again. So she's going to want to broaden her shoulders and her legs in some way so that um, she's starting to create that ideal um, uh, hourglass shape. So here she widens her shoulders by having this top on and it shows her bust line here and brings your eye down. Again, never stopping at her middle because she doesn't feel comfortable. It, she's too short-waisted to do that. And then you draw the eye down with a pair of pants. Um, here is one of my favorite um, Instagram bloggers as well. So we have Now I love her because I can look at her. We're about the, ba the same body shape. I have a lot more muscular legs. <laughs> I say that as if it's a plus, but once you put muscular legs with an upper body that's muscular, it starts to all just look large and in charge. Like, hello, football player. But I can look at her. See how she's a little bit wider on top and you can tell she has these itty bitty little ankles. So here, what she has done is this line here, it's, um, it plays with your eyes, plays with your mind so that you don't see her wide shoulders. It's bringing all of this in. Uh, and I love that look. See here, she does it again. So she's creating shape where there is no shape. The flouncy really helps to soften her, her introverted um, triangle. Um, let's see, I love this look. Again, I love the neckline and the shoulders. Let's see, she's trying to create shape here by widening um, 
I love, love, love this. The, this elongates her neck. Um, just this, even though she is tucking in and she has a shorter waistline, it's still your start here and want to see all the way down to what's at the bottom. So if you are anything like this woman's body shape, you might be interested in her fashion. Here is one that I'm also obsessed with. Now, this is not my body shape, but I love her style. So she is very large busted. Um, and instead of just making it so emphasized by looking at her chest, she gives you a reason to look down. So all of her pattern is on the bottom here. She's softened the top, but it's all you're looking here instead. Um, again, you're gonna look at her bottom rather than so much at her top. She's trying to emphasize her bottom. Uh, just super cute little pants and um, tennies. So this is a great way to adjust running around town um, into like a cute look rather than just throwing on a pair of sweats and real gym shoes. So I love her look. Um, here's another for you. This woman is an image consultant and she nails it every single time. I love following her. She really does. She nails it every time, no matter what look she's going for. So the wide leg crop pant, super cute. Um, here's a bright, bold print with kind of a micro print up top or a bold pant with a micro print up top. Um, she switched that and has floral up top, but look how stinking cute those jeans are. So I don't want to hear anyone say I can't wear something um, because of my age or my shape. There are people out there who are nailing it and you have that opportunity to follow them and look to them for direction. Um, my last tip I want to leave you with is I love clothing rental. One, because it's so good for the environment. So I'm a huge advocate of that. Um, I was a designer for, like I said, 15 plus years, and I know what the fashion industry does, and it is awful to our environment, but even more so to our mental health. So within, here's La Tote. Here's something that I, uh, I have a subscription to. So say I'm looking for a little brown dress. I type this in. Oh good, I can see it on different people, but they're still models. How do I know what it's gonna look like on me or when I'm outside of this arena? So the greatest part about this or Rent the Runway or some of these others is I can go in and I can see what it looks like on actual non-models, real people. So I can go through and I can say, okay, so she's 5'7". And she wears a size, she's wearing this in a size four. Looks like it fits her. Also gives me an idea on how to wear it. Let's see, the next person who has it on, um, let's look at this woman. So this says five, seven, she's wearing a size six. So I can see um, it's gonna be a little snug, but it doesn't look too tight. So maybe I can do that too. Uh, and these just go on and on. Um, let's go here. So this woman has added a belt and you can tell again, it's going to be snug, but it isn't going to be too tightly fitted that you can't move in it. And she tells you again, she's about five, seven, and she's wearing a size 10. So it gives you an idea of what these things look like on real people and how to compare yourself to them. Okay. So I know this has been kind of fun looking through Instagram and Pinterest and probably not so much fun telling you that I think you need to take actual measurements of your body, but I do invite you to go to howtowearitworkbook.com and download the, the how to tell what body shape you are, so that instruction. And then I also invite you to Look up, look me up, look rid me app up on Instagram. 
um, I'll even, I'll go there real quick. I want you to not just take what information I've given you today, but I want you to, I want you to send me a direct message. Ask me, try something on, ask me, should, is this right? Is this not right? How should I wear this? And the, how you do that, so this is, this is me on Instagram. You're just going to directly send me a message. You can do this by either sending me an image or you can actually record yourself. If you're using your phone, which you'll have to for Instagram, I believe. Oh, it looks like you could do it on here. Um, but you can, use, you can send me a video so you can talk to me in it and I will respond right back to you. And this is all as a donation for tapestry. I know that we need a little something fun, a little something to think about other than how heavy the world is right now. So I invite you to have fun, go play in your closet, send me a direct message through Instagram and I will give you feedback for completely free. That is what I am going to do for tapestry. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot out of today. Go back to howtowearitworkbook.com and look Ridme app up on Instagram and send me a message and I will help you through your closet. All right, have a great day.